Hello and welcome back to Project Sunboard News. So today we no first of all, first of all, first of all, I want to say big thank you. Uh, what happens in the last days and weeks is really insane. I'm getting so much support. There's a Scotch Danny keeping away all the punks from Discord. There is Adam Master found out how to create the two tiled furniture and <clears throat> is creating beautiful graphics. I got Don who who um has got a server running now with Hydrocraft. Um we'll post the server ID uh, IP later um or I will uh, post it in the in the video description. We're coming to this later. So, um, we will start with the things that are not so super interesting maybe and um, a small recipe change for um, milk you can pour out milk now that gives you an empty milk cartoon so guess you know the hedge trimmer and now it's writing great the hedge trimmer you can dismantle the hedge trimmer you will get a hedge trimmer blade and if you got uh, duck tape you can just say uh, uh, craft um, uh, tape the hedge trimmer plate and you will get um, um, a machete for that must be somewhere here yes so it gives you a machete from that so we had a little bug for example if I want to uh, build the um, herbalist table then if I use the R to rotate it then it, it could happen that it becomes invisible this is solved now so works fine and is not invisible i think the so next part the next big part this is the part where adam master is coming he made us a beautiful tile so we finally made it to build a um, double tiled furniture and so i i got the carpenter bench the usual carpenter bench you know um, if you got this item and going to the building menu, you can say build the carpenter's bench and this tile can be also rotated. Or just, let's say, build it here. And you will have a functional carpenter bench. It has um, two boxes with uh, 50 weight units. I think this is quite enough for carpenter bench and storage area. Um, before we go to farming, I will start with the uh, beehives. So I made the, the recipe for the beehives much easier now. You see it's highlighted. If I'm moving away from copy bench, it's not highlighted anymore. So we'll build the beehive. So I, I changed the beehives a bit. Now we got only one beehive left. This is the big one. So if you got a few other beehives, they will not exist anymore so if you're waiting for the beehives to work as um as furniture um these are the is the part for the bad news because this is not working right now we have but i got a solution for you and this will lead us to the next part and this is farming um yeah i, I had a little bug fix for, fix for farming bug fix for farming we had um, a problem with um, with the grapes. I got the grapes growing on super fast. Solved that for sure. But we got two new plants going. Um, this is the lemon tree and the candleberries. Build planter. <laughs> Easy. So I got my two planters. And I can say now plant crop. So first a lemon, then I will have a potted lemon tree. And next will be the mulberry. So if you got a, a mulberry from, from foraging or a um, mulberry, candleberry. Did I say mulberry? I mean candleberry, candleberry. So if you got candleberry seeds or candleberry from foraging, you can use this to plant it in a planter and you will get a potted candleberry tree. So you know these potters, these potters, um, this 
planters <laughs> from younger times. Um, these planters were growing if you just leave them, leave them on the ground. This will not happen anymore. I removed all the lemon tree, the potted lemon trees and the potted um, from, from the growing, so they will not grow anymore. You have to use them in the normal farming. So I'm taking those now and use them as they would be a normal seed, just like the mulberries and say, um, so seed lemon tree, and it will be here. And I say, so seed candleberry tree, and it will be a tree. So after watering, they should grow pretty fast. It stopped raining. This is how they look if they're ready. I got the candleberries that I can harvest now and I will get 10 candleberries from here and they're still growing for sure. And if I harvest a lemon, I will get Lots of lemon. It has. It looks a bit different in other grow status. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. They will just uh, keep on growing. What's the point that is important? So if I say candleberry, gather seeds, I will get candleberry seeds. If I'm going to the lemon, say gather seeds, I will get lemon seeds. Lemon seeds are important for making methanol. Um, good. So. Now we got the candleberry seeds, but we do not have candleberry wax. To get the candleberry wax, you will need the clay cauldron and um, candleberry sugar cold and ignition tool. And then you can say make, make candleberry wax. Um, yeah, let's just do it. You can see um, 10, 10 candleberry seed will give you one candleberry wax. This is not um, balanced yet, has to be done. Um, but will be done. Um, if you find a wild beehive, you can also go to the herbalist table and say harvest wild beehive. So I will do this. That means you will destroy the beehive and will get um, six honeycomb that can be also harvested to honey and um, bee wax but the wild beehive will be destroyed and you will get a lonely honeybee that is left from your destruction. <laughs> okay, that was a bit um, mixed up, <laughs> but I hope you could follow me. Um, it's all for today and um, I will kick out this update during the next 24 hours, I guess during the next six hours as I know me. If you got any problems with Hydrocraft, just um, come to our Discord and um, we're doing a lot of work there. It's always hard for me to to focus uh, on, on so much information coming to different channels. So um, I will add a continuously working link uh, below this video, in the video description, I will also add um, the IP address for our Hydrocraft server. That is pretty hardcore. We are playing usually with sprinters and very low loot and um, um, high population. Right now we are using um, no sprinters because it was just too hard. Um, but I think um, after some time we will uh, turn it on again. It's really fun to play with uh, sprinters, very challenging. So if you got any suggestions or ideas, just come to our Discord, forward it there, and we will see what you can do for you. Okay, anyway, I hope you're having fun with Hydrocraft. We keep, uh, keep it up on the work in continuously to make hydrocraft even better. So thank you for watching. We see us on the next one. We see us maybe on our server. Till then, bye bye.